to our home. Thank you. <laughs> this is the the traveling chair, the driver's seat, mm -hmm. and we have a a little what's called a parking heater that really works well. It's just we run it for oh maybe a few minutes in the mornings when we get up and it's cold. But uh, and then of course. I typically have on my cowboy hat, so that's that, nice. That feels better. I'm not. Yeah, that's now. nice. Thank you very. So we use we use this uh, for temperature control. Mm -hmm. uh, it does a does a real good job keeping the cold out and the heat in and all that kind of stuff. And then Debbie made us little curtains that we. That we put on here and that covers that up so it doesn't look too bad okay now yes talking to me right uh, now you can hang these up there at the front and sure i think it's all good to go oh yeah okay excuse me keep our coach right up here with the front so we can grab looks, them when we go out it looks really normal house oh inside. yeah thank you looks like a normal house instead of a bus a school bus? Yeah, it's very. Yeah. How can you raise the roof? Um, well, I just took a sawzall and cut through all the windows, cut across the front right here, cut across the back, and I raised them. There is a video on our YouTube channel, Life is a Joy, that shows how, how that is done. How he did it, yeah. How I did it. Is it legal? No need to get permit to raise your roof? No yeah, permit. No, permit. no need? Uh -uh. Yeah, no regulations on how it's done. We, we, I did a real good job. It's stronger now than it was before. So, mm. yeah. and we have radiant floor. So there's pipes underneath wow. that go With back heat. to our hot water heater. That's like Korean style. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it's a, this is just a normal size sink, stove, and ice box. So it's they're all 110. Everything's 110. It's on our solar. We have on solar on top. We have how, solar. How many watts? Three, yeah. almost 3,000 watts. Wow, that's a big. Yeah. Yes, it is. And yeah. then we have uh, underneath. I have 12 mm -hmm. AGM batteries. They hang from the mm -hmm. uh, frame. from the frame, mm -hmm. and. Uh, so they're 130 amp hours each, and I have 12 of them. So it takes takes care of us. And then this this right here is a little deal that shows what our battery's doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is our ice maker. Oh, so. it, it looks like a rice cooker. Yeah, yeah it, does. it looks like a rice cooker. It does. Maker. Yeah. You have double sink. Right. Uh huh. Then our fireplace is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then these go. Up here, mm -hmm. oops, I haven't got this put back together yet. It goes back there. Let's see. This goes here. And whoops. And this little tool. Very goes small right there. fireplace there you go. tools. <laughs> yeah, nice to set up. Uh -huh. yeah. It's not very cold right now, but we, anytime it's cold, we, we use it. And uh, what this water goes in, this is our shower water. Oh, what's this? It's a bath horse tank. Oh, that's, my. that's our bath and our shower. <laughs> so cool. But we load stuff in so there awesome. when we travel. So it's usually empty, but right now yeah, it's, it's full. the first time. It, I only saw it in the with the movie. This yeah. kind of thing. That's yeah. that's what it's for, it's for I'm, water and horses. I'm so glad to see this <laughs> in, per fun, in person it? now. <laughs> wow. so, fun, huh? so this is a. Uh, my hot water. This Oops, this I'm is the sorry. thermostat uh -huh. for our for our floor. floor. Yeah, for the heating in the floor. Water uh, heater. Instant water heater. It's for a five bedroom house. It's pretty big. Yes, very big. But it's the only one that would work above ten thousand feet. Mm -hmm. And so altitude. we stay. We go to the mountains a lot. So we have to have one that works at altitude. Oh, yeah, and down good. in the bottom part is our filtration. And then the, in the bottom. That's a million gallon water filter, so we shouldn't <laughs> million. ever, right, we, should, we shouldn't run out of filtered mm. water. Wow. Oops. And uh, let's see. Then we have a washer and dryer. Perfect. It's a big size, though. Yeah, it's, it's big. really big, yeah. No. So we, only, we use it for a clothes hamper, except if we're hooked up. Mm -hmm. Like if we're in a trailer park or something where we have water and dump and everything, then we use it. But 
Otherwise, like out here boondocking, it uses too much water. So we go to town and do laundry in town. Go to the laundromat. Okay. Yeah. And then just a You want to tell them about the thing. toilet? Okay. You want to see the toilet? Yeah. Just okay. Pretty, Everyone pretty wants pretty. to know about the toilet. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's a composting mm -hmm. toilet. Yeah. Okay. You can see this little switch right here. Mm -hmm. You can hear it. Yeah. Okay. That's the motor. And I put an impeller on. It's the uh, ice dispenser out of an old refrigerator. I just tore the refrigerator apart, got the motor, and uh, so you can see um, it agitating. It just can agitates I, the yeah. sawdust, can, if you can see that agitating, and the solids just go down. So you don't have to and crank it. And the urine it. goes in the front. And the urine goes, goes up in the front because that's called a urine diverter. And it puts it, and I have two five gallon buckets below. This is the urine tanks. And right there that you can see the hose comes in. I use the hose for the uh, P-trap. Mm -hmm. have to have a P-trap to keep your odor, odors down. Mm -hmm. So then we have two tanks. And uh, then to empty them, I just hook a hose onto this and put it into the, into the dump station. Okay. Like smelling the smell? Mm -hmm. No, not at all. Okay. So mm -hmm. we hook up to this and put it into the dump station. Mm -hmm. You know, so it just runs in. What bothers you is when you pull up to the dump station. It smells real bad. <laughs> <laughs> can you, you can see it moving. And Actually, I never seen the compost and how it works. Yeah. It's the first time I... And then my Korean viewers are very curious about compost uh -huh. toilet. Yeah. Every time I introduce about compost toilet to them, they want to know how it works. So you can yeah. tell them there's it, no odor. No odor. Yeah. It People, has inside it has a little fan mm -hmm. that and it goes out the top it's vented out the top um let's see here uh -huh. okay so that's the fan over there and it takes air right up the top mm -hmm. okay and then this you can see how it agitates right there and so you don't have to crank anything the solids will just go down you With look, most the you bucket uh, it looks like you made it it's he a did. home. I did. I made you it. You did. Yeah. Oh. I I, I thought you bought and installed. No, no. I invented it. You no, invented I've never it. seen one like it. Because Why? most of them, they have a Spare device you... to turn to make it. You have cover to turn the it by hands. And so Jim put this on there, so it you don't have to so turn. So nice. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Thank you. It's awesome. Really, really awesome. Like awesome. It. So you don't need to dump black tank. No, no black tank. No, no. I hate black no. tanks. Mm -hmm. And this is real clean to dump and yeah. everything. Oh, back. Well, this is just a regular little uh, uh, uh -huh. medicine yeah. cabinet. I got that at, uh, uh, what is it called? Restore. Yeah. Habitat the, for the Humanity. The Restore users. or Habitat mm -hmm. for Humanity. You can buy uh, used, things. used stuff from houses. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we we yeah. paid ten dollars I think for our microwave twenty dollars for our yeah. sink maybe ten dollars for yeah this. we yeah, bought yeah. as much as we could from the yeah. restore yeah they are good have good stuff and then cheap uh -huh. right and our bathtub was bathtub was seventy nine I yeah. think this one uh -huh. at the tractor supply company <laughs> yeah and it, really it'll nice. never wear out very yeah. nice very nice really and then. Yeah. Uh, uh, our bed is a, uh, it's not a queen, it's a, what's it called? Full. Full size bed. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, and we love it. And, um, then this is our keyboard. We do music, so that's our keyboard, mm -hmm. guitars, and fishing poles. Let's see, and over here is some more storage. Yeah, storage. Exhaust yes. fan, and it really works good. We open our yeah. window back this here. This window we At left night. we left that window in wow open that window and turn that fan on and it is so nice cool breeze yeah, yeah. That was wonderful. it's nice mm. i like your shelf, shelf the bookshelf i oh, like yeah. it yeah thank you we like to read and mm. so um 
And then we've got a little TV in here. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Yeah, we got that TV, and then we've got the one up front, the too. The big one up front, yeah. And mm -hmm. everything we watch uh, is usually on YouTube is about all we watch. We have a lot of well, DVDs. Well, these are 300 mm -hmm. DVDs. Oh, my. <laughs> wow. So we, we can entertain ourselves anyway. <laughs> That's for any inter entertainment when we are not outside. Uh -huh. We spend a lot of our time outside unless it's cold, rainy, or, or too hot. Life and is a Joy Jim. is our YouTube channel, okay? And this is Jim and Debbie, is, that's our names, Jim and Debbie. And uh, we're, we celebrated 50 years of marriage last year in June. So we've been married 50 years. Debbie, Debbie's workload has primarily been doctor's offices. She was a manager for doctor's offices. Build, build houses and that's why you that's made it, it like at home. <laughs> yeah beautifully yeah <laughs> and uh, so uh, we've always been involved in uh, our churches and so we sing when we sing we sing a lot of gospel songs mainly so since the book had Okay, it took me about a year and a half working a couple hours a day to build a bus. I bought the bus on Craigslist. Uh, Craigslist. Mm -hmm. I flew up to Gillette, Wyoming and picked the bus up and brought it home. And then I started working on it, tearing out the seats because it was an 82 passenger, or they call them a 14 window Bluebird bus. We got this built and then we, we got on the road. We were living in Colorado at the time. So sometimes it was really cold, like five degrees outside, and there were no windows or anything on this bus. I was in here working, and so uh, it was it was kind of cold a lot of the time when I was building the bus. But we've we've been on the road about three and a half years, and about a year and a half to build the bus before that. What made you decide to do it? Uh, well, what made us decide to do it is we had five acres, and I had a lot of farm things. I had 2,500 tilapia in an aquaponics building. Um, I had goats, six milk goats. I had 75 laying hens, chickens. chickens. Um, 40 dogs, because we raised, I raised standard poodles. Standard dogs. So standard we had poodles. puppies. Wow. About 40 yeah. is what we had. And uh, so Debbie called me when she was on her way home from work and said, uh, Jim, I feel like uh, we need to downsize. And mm -hmm. I said, you know, I never wanted to downsize. I always wanted to get bigger, have more, and uh, and I and but all day long I had been thinking we yeah. need to downsize. So we started right then. We started working. That's when I got on the phone, called the guy, went and picked up the bus, and that's when we started. So we mm -hmm. just both decided at the same time we wanted to downsize. So you sold out everything, house and sold land, our house and property, and all our animals. Yep. Yeah. We and have then, one animal now. Yeah, That's Debbie. <laughs> so, how do you feel? What's the difference before and now? Go ahead, Is Debbie. it better? Is it better life? Yeah, in many ways. Mm. There, there's just there are a lot of differences. Um, it's freeing, freer, because mm. there are, are a lot of things you don't have to think about, and it's it's much better financially. So it's not as stressful financially because mostly we stay in places where we don't have to pay. But we do still have to pay for the upkeep of the vehicle and for the insurance and all the regular stuff you have. Mm. But you don't have, we don't have utilities. That's right. And all of that stuff that we have to think about. So the only thing that I can say I really miss about it is... Um, having a place to for my family to come to see me mm -hmm. so instead we go see our family you have a big family well we have two no. daughters mm -hmm. and we have six grandchildren um, and two son-in-laws sisters and sisters brothers, brothers and all that, my mom, mom and dad you know so sometimes you get scattered out and you don't get to see each other very often so it's been nice to go mm -hmm. visit them and be mm -hmm. able to stay for a week or two but not being in their house in their way, you know. Okay. 
So it's been very convenient. That it's way. nice to go visit your family and stay in your own bed. Yeah. And then, isn't it tough driving big bus no. and then living in a desert? No, like we this? we actually love that very much. Mm. And we don't live in the desert mm. just just while it's cold. As, <laughs> as soon as it starts warming up, we go north. Uh -huh. You know, and we go, like last year we went to Wyoming, we went to South Dakota, you know, we went up to Yellowstone, we went, to, where else, baby? Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Yeah, but... Uh, I'm mean, safe. We're bigger than most people. <laughs> <laughs> right? We, yeah. We feel like the buses are oh. safer than the motorhomes. Yeah. Which is one reason we preferred getting a school bus, because they're built for safety for children. Mountain painting dragged me here. Oh, really? That's what, yeah. that's what picked your curiosity. Yeah, yeah. very it's it's beautiful. It was very quick. He just used a normal paintbrush like you paint a house with. I painted and both sides in about an hour. Yeah, yeah. For two hours. Do you mind if I ask how much money you put it all together? 40000 40000 except the bus. The bus cost. Seven thousand. That includes the bus. Forty thousand altogether. Wow. The, the automatic level of the cost, I believe, about six to seven thousand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't that expensive, except I did put a lot of extra things on there, like that. Like I get about between seven and eight, depending on how many mountains I'm climbing, miles per gallon. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, you're so <laughs> welcome. <laughs> You just drop by anytime.